I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. And what we're doing here is we are heading down into uh, the Dwemer ruin of Avanchensel. And what we are doing is we are returning a trinket that we were given by a by an insane Argonian on the docks of Riften. Or at least she's mentally off. Start to sneak. I don't like this place. It feels like we're being watched. It's a simple job, Drennan. We get in, we steal the lexicon, we leave. Don't get jumpy. If you two cannot handle this, we can find others to hire. Enough. This will be more than adequate. Let us continue. So there are various parts in Skyrim where uh, they, uh, where Bethesda decided to tell more of a story, and they do that by um, by using uh, ghosts. Well, they're not exactly ghosts because the characters aren't even necessarily dead, but they uh, but they depict the past events. So these guys are being remarkably tough, little. Ow. Remarkably uh, tough little guys. And here's some, some iron. <coughs> I just argue, that's, don't stand there. Okay, that's better. Because it can't be healthy for me to be swinging my pick through your body. Okay. Actually, I prefer the bow for now. And where was I going? I think, was it this way? Okay, definitely need a little bit more light. So these areas are tough, they're full of traps, but they're also pretty profitable. And they're often worth multiple trips. Can also be pretty complicated. Okay, so they're going that way. We're going to head up this way. Because we want to have a relatively thorough expl uh, exploration of the area. And that means if you happen to know what the shorter paths are, you should explore them first. Oh, shoot. I do not like these things. you're doing okay, dude. It's pretty neat lighting up there. It's also quite neat that it's still working after all this time. I am hearing the itsy bitsy spider. Well, the not so itsy bitsy spider. <coughs> Let's pull out my sword. I'm a little bit weirded out that Jazargo is more acting like a dude with a sword, uh, uh, more acting like a swordsman than a uh, than a mage. So oh, that door is barred. So clearly, we are to go the other way. If I remember right, somewhere up here, uh, 
Oh, that's another barred door. And there's a path downwards. And a skeleton. Oh, the path doesn't go very far downwards. That might have been the, the room that we just came from. And yeah, you do not want to just fall. This actually leads you back outside. <coughs> but on a uh, high, led, uh, high ledge overlooking uh, the valley. And I think that there's a chest up here, if I remember right. Yes, that looks like the chest. could have grabbed that bowl. I'm not going to bother. I'm generally trying to stick to the high value stuff up here. Now there might be another chest, something in this area. Maybe not. Huh, interesting. Move, dude, move, move. Jisargo. Okay, so back in. Some pretty nice music here. Okay, so this was the overlook. It would be insane to just try and jump down from here. We'd probably die. So we'll have to run around. Okay. And yeah, I think that's the overlook up there. There's nothing interesting that way. And oh, I didn't no ever notice before that this this is open. Well, in any case, let's lighten this place up a bit and then get out our bow. I'm relatively certain that. We are not alone, and we... Okay, yeah. Let's wait to, for this. Ah, pooey. I was hoping that it would go back, and I would, get, I would get the chance to backstab it. Apparently not. Sweet. Bolts, gems, looking good. You okay? Yep, yeah, good. This would probably be about the right time for another foe to show up. Yes. Okay. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, Chisargo. Zarga? Where'd you go? Oh, you're there. Okay. And let's see. Probably... Okay. So you never know when you're entering areas like this whether it's going to be more of... Uh, more infested by... by Dwemer bots. Or by, um... Uh, 
or by Thelmer. Okay. Oh, so close. And one, two. There's another one. Two hits. Cool. And there are a lot of locked gates in these. Unfortunately, the Dwemer traps tend to be extremely nasty. And I'm a little bit worried that uh, I'm not going to be able to keep Jizargo out of them. Okay, I am hearing clickety noises that are probably... a whole bunch of those spidery things. Obviously that's going to make some noise. Jusargo just probably charged right back. No, he didn't. Okay. Well. I wonder if I can shout at these guys. Yes. Ah, oh, these cogs. So we eventually need to make sure we have ten of them? And I think we had maybe two or three before. So we will want to stop collecting, I think, when we have seven or eight. So how many do we have now? We have four. Unfortunately, they weigh 10 pounds a piece. Which way do we want to go? So we can either head to the, or head to the left or straight. I don't think I've been through this store and See if either of them leads to a different area. Whoa! I am glad that I backed up. Uh, this is just a storage room, but those are normally used to dispense the dwarven spears, so I want to be careful. Another piece of dwarven armor. Nothing else. No dwarven sphere yet. Looking good. It's getting pretty dark, though. I think we want this other uh, this other path. <coughs> Why are all these metal things ignoring us? A bunch of zell is waiting. Waiting for what? Gonna keep on moving. <coughs> and head on into the next area. some clattering sounds up ahead, so let's get our bow out. Uh, that does sound like it's probably just gears. No, apparently not. So there are the spidery things. 
see if I can get a good clean shot, and I miss. Great. need gears. Let's actually put the gears back. Dwemer gear. Yep. A little bit more light would be helpful. And the music changed back, so maybe there aren't any more photos in the immediate area. near the far right here. Not quite that far though. No? A little bit less far. Good. I told you you should have hired a thief. We are thieves, you fool. We're stealing the truth. And yet none of us can pick a damn lock. Haha, -ha, I can pick locks, but you are just memories, and I am a real deal at this point. You were the real deal, though. Well, at least for a creature from a video game. Of course, the notion of me is also complicated. But let's not get too metaphysical right now. Uh, there's a chest. Good. I'm definitely training my lock picking in this uh, dungeon. Stamina potions are not the most ideal thing, but there's something to sell. And up ahead, big open room. Ah, a dwarven bow. That might be better than the bow that we have now. Right now we're using a hunting bow uh, that's improved up to 22. Dwarven bow is naturally at 27. So I'm not going to be using our uh, hunting bow anymore. This is clearly better. So this, in case you haven't picked it up, these are, um, this is the crazy Argonian, and she wasn't crazy in the past, she was part of a party that was down to raid this place. And this is, uh, these memories that we're seeing are, uh, are uh, that misadventure. Candlelight and muffle. Now here is a door that has a pretty obvious trap attached to it. We're gonna open it and then back off really quick. And those spinny things do not keep on spinning, thankfully. And there are some broken spiders here. Cool. Some more dilute for us. Here's a skill book. Who knows how long it's been down here, though, and that is one of the areas where they screw up a little bit in the game. They don't really put a lot of thought into how, uh, how old books are in ruins, and they have some books in ruins that are much younger than the, uh, than the ruin is. And is there anything over here? Oh, just another spider. So I thought normally with these places there's a chest or something. Aha, uh -huh, did not spy this. But we're also getting kind of full despite being 
reasonably selective this time with what we're picking up. And yeah, if you absolutely have to have everything in here, I'm hearing a spider somewhere, then you're going to have to make many trips. There is... Our spider. Nothing interesting in that one. There are broken spiders up on display. And there's all sorts of stuff that you can uh, grab from this room and most of the rooms around it. But a lot of the stuff that you would want to grab requires some fancy jump work. Some alchemy thingy. And some gemstones on the ground. I'm not sure why they would be near an alchemy set. It would make more sense for them to be near a smith table or an en enchanting table. But I am not going to complain too much. Let's keep on moving. It's possible, if we're not careful enough, that um, we're going to need to turn back part way through. Because we are picking up a fair amount of stuff and we might, we might just plain run out of uh, space. Aha. Fortunately, we've been pretty decent at collecting lockpicks by this uh, part of the game. So I was a little bit used to that, okay. So anything we encounter that's locked that we want, we should be able to easily grab. Or, uh, I'm sorry, easily unlock. There's another Dwemer helmet if we want it. I guess over here, oh, these are just more pipes. Oh. We're going to mace. Oh, and we definitely want our shield up for this. Ow. Definitely showing the importance of good gear because these fights are going so much easier. There's another one of those cogs. Another level for us. Good. Take a little bit more health, and um, we can't yet do advanced armors. There's not a lot we can do with enchanting yet. Fortunately, we can take recovery, and that is always helpful, because faster magic or regeneration 25% faster, that's a sizable improvement. Needs a lot less waiting. Now, one of the things I'm a little bit surprised about here is that we haven't seen any Falmer yet. 
Maybe there aren't any Thalmor in this uh, dungeon, but... I thought you said these Whoa. things were sleeping. You said it's I said they were waiting. It seems as if you were them were waiting for someone to try and take the lexicon. Great. Okay, so we keep on heading down. Oh, soul gems. Definitely uh, helpful. But yeah, our, we've been co collecting enough of the cogs we need that we're getting weighed, uh, pretty weighed down by this point. Let's see what's up ahead. Okay, this is a big open room with lots of spiders. do a lot of damage to us from here. Unfortunately, they're not going to stay down there, and they know the path to where we are. Jizargo, do you have to stand right there? They will climb up the stairs and come around to us if, if they can. Fortunately, they're not particularly bright. But they're not so much less bright than most of the other uh, critters in the game. And if I were being a lot more careful, I would be wondering which particular arrows I'm using. quite enough to actually uh, worry about that. Let's get our shield up. I basically just want to make sure that I wasn't going to be facing all of them at once. Because on the Centurions. They're two dead Centurions, Daedric Arrows. Those are really nice uh, gear. Get some Grand Soul Gems. So, yeah, we met some of these earlier in, uh, I think, uh, Markarth. This would be particularly nasty if both of these were in good working order. I had to fight them. Fortunately, that is not the case. And we are picking up tons of soul gems here. And I think all the cogs that we will need for that later quest. Jizargo, where are you? There you are. Jizargo regrets there was no chance to speak with the Sijic monk. Uh, we follow that. Yes. Only hangs so much room to carry things. Sorry, Jizargo, but you are going to need to carry... Oh. I probably have more cogs than I need, but you can carry all the cogs. And we will stop picking up more cogs, because we definitely have enough now. Okay, so... Looking good. So I think we're done in this room, and we will head up.
I just have this feeling that we will not be alone for very long. <clears throat> oh, maybe I'm wrong. This does look like it's the uh, the end of this part of the dungeon. This is the next area. This is where things start to get pretty interesting. saw a uh, Dwemer Sphere runoff, and this time I actually did manage to get it by surprise. And this definitely illustrates the advantage of having a, uh, a follower, because these dungeons can be pretty brutal if you're just doing them uh, alone. Is that noise? <clears throat> Let's see. Now, sometimes you hear malfunctioning spider uh, critters. of soul gems. So actually the soul gems that you get from this dungeon will last you for much of the rest of the game. At least uh, on the lower end. It should get you much of the way into the very high levels of enchanting. <coughs> now this is a trap. And I am... <coughs> I'm a little bit worried that Jazargo is going to trigger it. So can you... Show me that you're not going to step on that. Okay, good. Because if you get it wrong, a spinny blade thing will pop up and uh, and cut you up pretty quickly. <clears throat> oh, so Argonian tails are like Khajiit tails. And that if they die... Oh, so do you still have a tail? Yeah, you do. Okay. I was wondering if his tail might have disappeared from wearing the armor. Apparently not. So, up ahead is a giant robot. And this is. So we survived that pretty well. Jazargo actually took most of the blows. And we are somehow managing avoiding getting too full. Brea was the other uh, hired uh, other hired help from the previous party. 
and she apparently got killed by uh, these critters. And we can put the lexicon in here, and we get the ancient knowledge permanent buff, which is pretty rockin'. Uh, which means that from now on, if we were uh, wear dwarven armor, then uh, then we get a, uh, a buff from the armor rating that we get from it, which is nice. But we are not a heavy armor character, so we're not actually going to take advantage of that. And if we... Um, if we do any smithing, we'll get more experience from uh, from it, which is a game changer because now we want to level smithing as quickly as possible, meaning that we're going to be uh, buying uh, raw materials fairly often. So we were up here before. We noticed that door was barred before. Now that it's open, it's a quick exit to this dungeon. And a quick return to Riften. Now if we get a Daedra Heart, we're going to return to those uh, orcs there. So the orc, the orc quests are, um, if you just do an orc quest for any stronghold, you'll be able to uh, visit all orc strongholds without uh, being attacked, which is pretty cool. Each of the orc strongholds uh, has a different quest, I think. But the orc strongholds also tend to have mines in them, and they're the best place to get um, ore column which you can use to improve orcish gear. That's pretty handy. Now I'm realizing that I forgot to talk to the Jarl after buying the house, so I haven't been named um, Thane here yet, even though I own property. So I will head in and say hello. Like I am interrupting breakfast. Who, then allow me all that remains now. It, I should be the one thing. You've been a be therefore, by my authority as Jarl, I pronounce you Thane of Rift and award you all the benefits befitting your station. Okay. So she gave us a dagger, which is pretty much the only particularly interesting part of that. Fortify Stamina Regen is not one of the more important enchantments, but... Excuse my oh well. <clears throat> so we're going to do the usual... Good morning. Sell the uh, enchants and then sell the uh, gear that we have to sell. Need something? <clears throat> Unfortunately, we're standing right near where she wants to stand. So she's probably going to be nagging us for a little bit. Okay, hunting bow. And I think that Soul Trap is the best enchantment that we have at the moment. <coughs> so Archery seems to be the best helmet enchantment. And for Dwemer armor, we can do Fortify Destruction, I think. Now, an Elven helmet might be a better helmet than what we're wearing now. Let's see. So it gives 19 armor rating. What are we wearing right now? We're wearing an Imperial... Okay, so yeah, it is better. So we're going to enchant it up to being nice. 
Oh, no, actually, we don't have that uh, that, that smithing perk yet of improving uh, of improving enchanted items. So we're not going to take uh, do that right now. <coughs> Oh, so that's a right ring. Let's see. Right now, we're wearing a left ring that improves our magic resistance and a right ring that barely does so. So let's see what we can do with this uh, right ring. Do we have any grands that are full? Yes, we do. And we can... Have this also be a ring of magic resistance. <coughs> so and having this amount of magic resistance will make uh, fighting dragons a whole lot easier because with uh, right now we're getting an MR of uh, 31 from these rings, and we have that passive magic resistance, I uh, don't remember what it was, active effects, of another 15. So we have uh, a little bit over 45% magic resistance, so we'll take um, a little bit over half of the of uh, of the damage that we uh, used to take uh, if say a dragon breathes on us, which is pretty nice. Every little bit helps. Still don't have any boot enchantment. I guess not. Oh well, stamina regen that can be handy, but not super handy. So we're not going to do that. So those are all the enchantments that we're going to do right now. Oh wait, did Jezargo regrets there was no chance to speak. The what? If it is important, maybe Toftir knows. You see, Jezargo only has so much room to carry. I don't hands. remember how much junk we we gave him to carry. Not a lot. Okay. Lead on, so we're done here, and we're going to hop outside. Actually, where did we end up selling all those robes? We might not have sold all the ropes yet. <clears throat> not yet. Well, that helps. I have to remember. What first So she was pulled outside by our conversation. What do you want? And oh, hey, dude. What brings you to the finest weapons and armor. So it's great to finally have Daedric arrows, dwarven bolts. Uh, we could, I guess, we're just going to save those uh, for later since they don't weigh anything. So actually, we're going to get some more training you from him do what I do. Very well. to give him more gold to work with, and of course to improve our own smithing, Take a look. which is helpful. He's a, He actually has more gold than we do for right now, but not for long. Of course, we might still be losing money with our conversations with him, but we're definitely improving our skills a lot, and that is pretty important. Um, looking good. Okay, so we want to improve this helmet, and in order to do that, we need a, a refined moonstone. Let's see if he has one for sale. Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade. Take a look. 
Yes, looking good. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salt. Actually, let's buy two. I, I have an intuition that we might. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge yeah. the difference. So we can improve these boots a little bit more. And definitely improve this helmet. And we're actually going to put on. Oh, we already have the boots on. We're going to switch to the helmet from the Imperial Light helmet, which was just improving our lock picking a bit. Wasn't that important? Mm -hmm. Yes. Take a look. So we can sell our old helmet to him. It's not really worth anything. And uh, I would like to get it to make a nicer shield Remember, at some point. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, I want to enchant the helmet. Oh, what did we have to do in here? We had... No, we don't have full fat and a date or heart right now. But actually, we might be able to buy a date or heart. Let's uh, step downstairs to the alchemist, because it's an alchemy ingredient. I swear. In fact, I need you won't speak to Filmyar in Shorsk. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Ah, yes, a Daedra heart. Good. Oh, and actually, we can sell some of these potions that we've been carrying around for a long time that are not particularly useful for us. Yeah, the problem with things like the potion of damage magicka regen is that if a foe is going to last long enough to regenerate magic, um, you're doing something wrong. And if I illusion. And I don't generally find poison resistance to be that compelling an ability. Since poisons don't tend to be quite that bad. Okay, actually then maybe we'll buy... Uh So we can then return those parasols to Balamand. And did we actually have a troll? Well, I don't really remember. Anyhow, uh, I might have a... Uh, the road to shore stone could be hopefully I have some troll fat up in my house. But I'm going to head up to Balamand and give him his, uh, and give him the fire salt. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. What brings you to about a mate? You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. Ah, that, a thousand gold. Cool. Time. You're quite so yeah, we're gonna return home and grab some troll fat and and I think enchant our uh, our helmet. Oh yeah, so now that we became Thane, she assigned us a house curl. 
which is another potential follower that just hangs out in your home unless you ask that that uh, that follower to become your main follower. And I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty happy with uh, Jazargo. Let's improve this helmet. We're only applying a greater uh, improvement, but that is good enough for me. And faster Magicka regen is always handy. And uh, might as well improve these boots for more stamina regen because we're probably going to re replace them before we. Uh, before we get a nicer, uh, nicer type of boots that we can wear. Okay. So, yeah. Our gear is improved. We want some troll fat and. I'm sure that we've come across troll fat in our travels. The question is, okay, we do have some, and we'll drop off. All the other ones of these, oh shoot, I did not mean to do that. Troll fat, that we don't need, okay. And we'll drop off. And the flawless amethysts, I think, are for a quest. Oh wait, we did want gold ore. And Medesi is actually right out there. So we're actually going to take care of that while we're in town before we uh, wrap up this uh, Let's Play. And we're going to talk to Jazargo and Yo. Jizargo regrets there was no chance to Jizargo and grab the uh, the Dwemer Cogs. Good. And we'll put them in here. So I feel bad for the Thanes. It seems like they just spend a lot of time waiting in empty, uh, in empty houses. Although maybe other Jarls are uh, home a little bit more often than I am. Holy, where is Medesi? Grelka, are you Medesi? Yes. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. Safe travel. Sweet. So, that is the end of this Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next one.